Well, in yet another great example of the truth of the saying, go woke, go broke, seems that woke SJW Disney and their Disney Plus uh, streaming services are losing subscribers and losing viewers en masse. Never mind the fact that most of the people who are uh, subscribed to Disney Plus are not even paying, they're you know, on some kind of free subscription, but even then, you know, Disney Plus is losing subscriptions en masse what happens when you you know insert woke liberal SJW ideology instead of actually entertaining families sorry my cat is doing cat type things below me right now or on my desk but anyway let's get into this article this is on uh, inside the magic always you know fun to hear this kind of stuff uh, inside the magic it says fans abandoning ship Disney plus loses subscribers for the first time ever yeah that's not even you know comparing the fact that they essentially had lost like something like a billion dollars in streaming you know within the uh, past couple of years yeah it's it's not looking good for woke sjw disney or woke sjw ideology being inserted into allegedly kids films so anyway it says in the article for the very first time in well forever disney has actually lost subscribers on its giant enter entertainment streaming service not surprising one bit hey you know people don't want to pay to have you know pay for essentially woke liberal sjw you know, Jesuit ran, by the way, propaganda. It says in the article, uh, for those who don't know, the Walt Disney Company will be holding its Q1 earnings call later Wednesday evening. Ahead of the call, some information has already come out regarding Disney's performance as a company in the last year. One of the most shocking aspects of this information, aside from just how much money the Walt Disney Company made, was the revelation that Disney Plus has actually lost subscribers for the first time ever since its launching back in 2019. This was shared by reporter Scott Gustin moments ago on Twitter, and he shows these laughable losses by the way of woke SJW Disney but the, the sad part is they, they still don't get it that you know you go woke you go broke you insert liberal you know SJW you know, garbage into your kids films yeah this is kind of the result of that but they're gonna keep losing money until they somehow finally get it if they're even able to get it you know get the get the facts of the matter but it says in the article this comes as quite a surprise, especially when considering just how popular Disney Plus has proven to be. Only time will tell how the streaming service uh, performs in the long run. Disney Plus is a go-to place to watch all your favorite classic Disney films and television shows, uh, as well as all things Marvel and Star Wars. The Mandalorian, which is arguably the most popular series on the entire platform, is set to have its Season 3 premiere on March 1st, 2023. The last season of the series aired its final episode all the way back in 2020. So... Yeah, you go there and see their, uh, essentially their butchering of the Star Wars franchise, by the way, too. As I was pointed out, Disney and Star Wars is not, you know, doesn't do so well, you know, among actual Star Wars fans. Because they, essentially, they've taken, they take this this franchise that has essentially made so many kids, I mean, it was a big part of my childhood, I'll put it that way. Uh, and they perverted it with their liberal SJW ideology. I could say a whole lot more on that, but I, I could just go on for hours about that, but won't bother says on the article well fans get get did get an entire arc dedicated to din Je whatever i can't say half these names and of course baby yoda himself in the star wars book of boba fett uh the following year it has been a long journey to get where we are today fans also uh sorry fans also done uh, sorry clung to andor the newest venture in the star wars universe with the final episode of its first season uh ending in november 2022 the Simpsons also proved incredibly big, with Bob Iger mentioning the long-running comedy series on the call. Yeah, you know, a few successes over just box office bomb after box office bomb, and financial failure after financial failure. See, they'll give a few examples where they, yeah, had some success, but overall, you know, they're still losing subscribers. They're still losing fans, and this is the result of what happens when you, you know, turn away from actually just entertaining families and you know, dedicate your, your business, you know, your, your movie company into some kind of non-profit for pushing woke liberal SJW propaganda. So anyway, we'll have to point that out. Just laughable how they just don't get it. But hey, it's, it is what it is. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.